Hey guys, Mars Thinking here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so we have the next no item run up here from the 10 stages of Super Battle Road, and this is the Saviors stage. So obviously, we're using double tech Gohan leads. Uh, he's always good on pretty much any stage you can use him on. And so, since this is his stage, uh, obviously, we're going to be running him. I've brought the AGL Pycon. You can see here, he's a pretty good unit to have for not only the support that he gives when you get the type orbs. But when you, as long as you get the rainbow orb, he has the built-in chance to dodge, he can seal, he lowers attack on super. So he has a lot of things that make him very, very useful for Super Battle Road. And then, of course, we are using the Int Namek Goku. We all saw how he just destroys the Exploding Rage stage. There's Pycon getting the dodge. Um, so, yeah, he's super good. Obviously, you see that when he doesn't get the dodge against uh, Demon King Piccolo, he took quite a lot of damage. But he dodged that super as well, so pretty decent and then we can seal up uh demon king piccolo here and then tech gohan obviously not getting hit first he's not going to have crazy turn one attack but he's uh here for the defense getting the double super so straight away we just take out the agl enemy it's always great when you can uh get that with Gohan that double super because it massively uh, increases your defense as well overall getting that second super attack and then Goku uh, even in slot three not a huge amount of links active uh, he's able to get very solid attacks that my Goku does have two dupes um, he doesn't get the uh, additional but we even get a uh, cheeky dodge there in the last slot so this is another team setup where we're using the LR uh, Oob and STR Oob combo uh, this works really really well for all of the attack lowering that they provide as well as of course the LR Oob transformation that gives you a nice free heal which is something that's always super useful when you're doing a run where you can't use items and uh, yeah these guys having their attack lowering is obviously very useful I'm just kind of spreading that out across the multiple enemies that we have here um, and then yeah look at that Gohan in slot one barely taking any damage then he puts out a solid attack stat after getting hit and we are able to finish off demon king piccolo no he had to get the additional normal with the crit so gohan still finishes him off and then we have uh, lr oob obviously not uh, crazy attack stats or anything i'm pretty sure mine is full level 10 links uh, as well as being rainbow and then this str oob easy a is very strong he's almost at full level 10 links for me at the time that i did this i think his links are mostly like seven and eights um, and then we also have tech krillin on the team um he's not as crazy as some of the most recent ones but he's definitely part of that meta of the 40 percent supports that are actually pretty solid units overall uh he provides 30 percent support for super class allies we don't have any uh kid goten or trunks on the team so we never get his full 60 percent but even just that extra little bit of support those kind of units work really well with gohan because if he has a support unit on the rotation he doesn't even need to attack first to be able to have uh, very good defense and uh, often tank normal attacks for double digit damage so having a support unit like krillin on the team is obviously very helpful and uh, gohan here gets the crit finishes him off and then 1.5 million from krillin i mean krillin's obviously not a crazy damage dealing unit mine is rainbow full level 10 links um but yeah he gets the final blow in and we can move on to the second phase. So the first one is tricky because there's like five enemies. So obviously your chances of getting hit with multiple supers is uh, something you have to be aware of. Um, but now we can go into the second fight against Mecha Freezer and King Cold. We only have the two enemies now. Stuff like that's really good because obviously when you've got attack lowering units, it's much easier to be focused on one or two enemies that you want to nerf rather than having to spread out across a huge group of enemies. Even for the mono stages for ESBR, like the stages where you get five enemies are often the most annoying. So, But anyway, we can have Gohan in slot one. We're kind of just using... Uh, in Goku as a floater here. I'm trying to be careful. I don't know where which slots are going to be the best to put him in. Gohan links up reasonably well with Oob as well, so they do work together as a rotation. And uh, Goku, even in the final slot, is able to get the uh, potential additional super. Because we have a Freezer enemy in the fight, of course, Goku is getting guaranteed crits. So that is something that is very useful, especially considering that we have the uh, King Cold, who is a physical type. So it means we can get Goku to attack him while Frieza is still alive and he'll get guaranteed crits. It means we don't have to worry about the type disadvantage. 
So, Oob getting the double super is really good here because we're attack lowering King Cole because obviously he is attacking Goku. If Goku only gets one super off, he's getting his 12 key, so it is the one that raises his defense, but he's still getting hit by type disadvantage. So getting those double attack lowers on King Cold is definitely very good. And there you go, we get the crit. And uh, unfortunately, he survives with the tiny sliver of health. But with his attack lowered, he's only dealing a few thousand per hit. So not too crazy. And we are below the HP restriction now to get the transformation with LR Oob on the next turn. So we just need to make sure we survive. Um, we can put Gohan in slot one here. Seems almost like a waste to attack uh, King Cold, but the orbs were not super good here. I managed to line up, though, using the, the good strategy for Pycon or Janemba when you can get their orbs later in the rotation is we missed out on Gohan's super by two key, and then we get the orbs to activate Pycon's passive, and then that, of course, puts him up to being able to super attack. He finishes off King Cold, and uh, we only have Frieza to worry about now. And Pycon gets him sealed and attack lowered. So we don't have to worry about taking a super attack from him. So looking good here. Definitely need Pycon to get the dodge. Ooh, 48k. Dodge is one. Okay. And then STR Oob going to lower his attack even further. And since he is still sealed because of Pycon. There you go. Double super from Oob. So next turn, he's pretty much unable to deal damage to us because he can't super attack and he's been attack lowered multiple times in that last turn so lr oob gonna transform here absorb boo give us the nice little heal um and then yeah we are pretty decent here for some good damage with the support from krillin on the rotation uh, we can get a little bit of extra healing from uh getting the rainbow orbs with oob as well and then yeah get a super attack for krillin so Pretty strong rotation here. He's pretty much unable to do damage to us at all. And remember, LR Oob is going to be hitting him with an attack lower as well. Um, did we get his 18 key super? Yeah, we did. So his 18 key super, once he's transformed, is greatly lowers attack. So his Frieza is uh, pretty much unable to do anything here. And I was saying before, like, Krillin is good. Like, you know, he's not going to take double digit damage from an enemy that hasn't been attack lowered or anything. And then, of course, Frieza coming in with the super attack on Oob. Typical that we couldn't get that onto Gohan. Uh, unfortunately, regardless of how much you hit an enemy with the attack lowers, super attacks are always going to deal decent damage to you. So pretty unfortunate that we took that after getting the heal. But we are super close to the end of the fight here. So I know once we go into the next fight, we've got LR Oob on the rotation. So now instead of risking even taking any damage here and potentially messing it up, we just go for Goku's active skill. Get the guaranteed crit because it's against Frieza and finish him off. So now we can move on to the last fight and LR Oob is going to transform straight away. We've got the double Oob rotation with Gohan as well. So this is actually a pretty good start for this particular fight. Obviously a stray super attack here is still going to be very awkward for us because we've got no sealer on this turn. I've only got Pycon on the team that can do that. But Gohan of course with his guards we don't have to worry about... Um, Omega Shenron being int here, but that's why I decided to put STR Oob in the second slot instead of the Tech Oob, because I know we're hitting him with one attack lower, but that's quite a lot of hits to then go onto the uh, LR Oob there with type disadvantage. So he starts off with a super attack, uh, obviously worst possible slot, getting to the third fight and getting super attacked immediately in slot one is never fun. So we lose a pretty sizable chunk of the HP that we just got back, but... We are about to apply a lot of attack lowering here. We're getting pretty close to the Dokkan event, uh, Dokkan attack, I should say. And so, SCR Oob with almost a 2 million attack stat, pretty decent. And uh, then, yeah, just from that lowering attack, he greatly lowers attack, I believe, with his super, the STR one. So, just after that one super and the links that he has active, obviously he has a very good link set with the LR Oob once he's transformed. Um, straight off, just taking double digit damage is obviously very, very good. And then the LR greatly lowering attack as well. So I think here, yeah, see, I'm tempted because if I put Goku in slot one, get this full 24 key, I'm hoping we can get the Dokkan attack this turn if I target as many same type orbs as I can. Um, because if he gets hit in slot one, he gets that guaranteed additional super. But unfortunately, we're just shy. So we're still in a position where he's not sealed. He's been hit with attack lowers a few times, so I know every unit on this turn, basically, is going to be able to tank uh, normal attacks perfectly fine. But 
in this situation with the HP that we have, if he super attacks anyone except for Gohan, uh, we potentially would die. But, I mean, obviously, you're watching this video, so we definitely don't die. This is one of the ones I recorded on the first night. So now that I'm recording the commentary for this, it's been uh, a couple of days since I actually did this run. So this is the first time that I'm watching it back. And uh, I think we've played most of the plays correctly so far. I mean, we obviously, we get to the end, but um, I always like to see instances when watching these back where I potentially could have done things slightly differently. But... Yeah, Tech Krillin in the final slot here. Does he still take double damage, uh, double digit damage with the attack lowers that we've put onto Omega? Well, he's going to dodge. That's the 16k. So, obviously, Omega still able to hit a reasonable uh, amount of damage. But, yeah, unfortunately, getting the Dokkan attack with Gohan is not the most ideal scenario. We've definitely got to hope for a crit. But PyCon really doesn't do a lot of damage. So... I didn't want to put him in slot one. And yeah, STR Oob's kind of the same thing. He's not going to do a huge amount of damage. So we're uh, hoping for the crit here with Gohan. At least we get hit first. So we do get that little bit of an extra buff to our attack. We're almost at 3.2 million on the attack stat. Miss one of the nodes, but that's not too bad. So we've got almost the full uh, damage multiplier here. And uh, do we actually get the crit? Because we're in a pretty good position. I mean, even if we're not doing huge damage to him here, we're going to get a decent heal. We're sealing him up this turn with Pycon. He's already been pretty attack lowered. So once you get a unit in that combo of being sealed and attack lowered, there's not really a lot they can do to you for at least the next full turn. So it does give you a definite advantage when going for these no item runs. So get the attack lower, get the seal. Then PyCon follows up with a uh, dodging masterclass there. I think he probably still would have taken double digit damage at that point. But yeah, dodges every single attack, which is great. And then, uh, yeah, his attack is just so lowered now that his basic attacks basically just do no damage. And he's sealed, so I know this is a perfect turn where we can go ahead and put uh, Namek Goku in slot 1. Get Oob there in slot 3. I mean, he's so attack lowered, he definitely can't even damage uh, Oob at this point. So, we are looking pretty good. Um, we got two type disadvantage units here, but Namek Goku <laughs> more than makes up for it. In fact, depending on how these super attacks go, considering he gets the guaranteed second one, um, this could potentially be the last turn, but we'll see how much damage we actually get to do here. Because we got hit, so we get the guaranteed second super. We crit on the first one, pretty decent amount of damage, and then, yeah, 3.7 on his uh, additional super there is pretty good. So, do we get a crit on this one as well? We do not. But yeah, I think he's got like the smallest sliver of health. And then look at that. Goku gets the extra additional. Because mine does have dupes, like I said. So, he does have some additional. So, the triple super attack turn from Namek Goku and the crit as well. So, there you go. Namek Goku finishing off Omega in a big way. And we are able to hit the star and get the clear so there you go that was the saviors stage of super battle road beaten with no items let me know what you guys think down below what team did you use uh, even if you did have to use items let me know down below in the comment section so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one